back to Living in Wait. On January 22nd of this year, history was made when for the first time in seven years, the historic Eddie Aikau Big Wave Tournament was held. K-21 and K-High carried the coverage from morning until night and brought you all the action live. That's right, and that includes the amazing win by, in a, by a surfer who started the day as an alternate, North Shore lifeguard Luke Shepardson. And we are honored to have him standing by uh, live with KH12's resident surfer, Chris Latronic. What's up, boys? We bow to the the boy. Hey, how's it, Mikey and John? And yes, it's a legendary Aloha Friday because we're here with legend, legendary Luke Shepardson, who just won the 2023 Eddie Aikau Big Wave Invitational. And the celebration really hasn't stopped since the day happened, which was an epic swell, an epic event. Mahalo to the Aikau Ohana for putting on such a great event. And Luke is right here with us here at the out, the Outrigger Waikiki Beachcomber. Luke, how you doing today? I'm doing Doing good. Okay, so how's life been? It's kind of been a whirlwind since you won the event. Tell me just how your life has changed. Uh, it's been uh, flipped upside down. <laughs> I usually kind of shy away from cameras, but now I, it's hard to stay away from them. But yeah, just getting used to it and figuring it out as I go. <laughs> yeah, just like you did over at Waimea Bay, winning the Eddie I Cow. And there's a whole lot going on. Tell me about some of the opportunities and some of the uh, the new just events that you've been uh, invited to because of the win. Um, yeah, we're doing this cool event down here tonight, and there's going to be another one. Uh, I forget the date, but there's going to be another event in memory of Eddie I Cow. Uh, and down here in town in a few weeks. Um, yeah, there's been a lot of cool stuff going on and stuff I never would have expected. <laughs> yes, and so we're here right now in the gallery at the Waikiki Beachcomber and there's actually gonna be a huge event coming up later today. So uh, what, what do they have you doing here today? Um, I'm gonna be signing posters here from 5 to 6 p.m. right here in the gallery and uh, yeah, come down and get your poster sign. Yeah, so you don't want to miss this. You could meet the legend Luke right here in the gallery, and he could be setting up right here, signing autographs, and you get a nice poster. So this is where you want to come down. But it also, it's not over yet, because what's happening later after you sign those post posters? Um, yeah, uh, after from 6 to 10 p.m., there's going to be a big uh, celebration, drinks and food, and a concert up on the pool deck at the Aroma Cafe. Um, I believe the green is going to be playing, and uh, yeah, everyone come down and have a good time. Yeah, it's a big celebration, but okay, Luke, let's go back to the day of the Eddie. So you had to work that morning. Did you ex what, what did you expect to happen, just working and then doing the Eddie during your breaks? Um, I was just in awe that I was actually able to get to surf in one, and uh, it was good. I kept my mind off of the contest, but I was just going to try put on a good show and have fun. I wasn't expecting to win, but here I am, and I'm really happy with the result. <laughs> yeah, so unlike the other surfers who kind of got to rest here and there, you were constantly helping out, and uh, what kind of other stuff that you were doing in between heats? Uh, yeah, we were, I'm a lifeguard, so I had to keep the spectators on the beach safe because it was really, really packed that day, and it was very dangerous conditions, but few pretty serious cuts to deal with, few people getting swept into the river, had to get rescued, uh, people, huge surges coming up and going into the crowd and almost pulling people back into the water. Uh, it was a really, really busy day. <laughs> yes, and you're not also just a lifeguard North Shore boy, you're also a family man, wife with two kids. How is the family reacting to your win of the Eddie? Um, they're doing good. We got two new family cars, which is really nice. Uh, we really needed them, and uh, yeah, they. Haven's uh, enjoying the same, hearing people talk about me. Hey, that's my dad. And, uh, <laughs> that makes me feel really good. Yeah, <laughs> I also pull that too. This is my friend. I actually grew up with Luke over at VLAN. He started cutting me off at first, but now DLC. he's the legend over at Kaunala. And hey, Luke, I just want to say congratulations once again. Thank you, Chris. Yes, and you can come here, see him from 5 to 6. You can get autographs here with Luke Shepardson right here in the gallery. And then upstairs from 6 to 10, the big celebration with the green highlighting the music. So you don't want to miss that. Legendary Luke right here. But for now, let's send things back to the studio. Thanks, you guys. So Great much. interview, Chris. And, uh, and I hope the bus doesn't isn't too heavy that uh, Chris just threw Luke on. Oh, I know. <laughs> Which, by the way, you guys, shout out to the gallery at the Beachcomber. Yeah. Um, amazing place. We have some friends like Kelano who perform there a lot yeah. um, and other local musicians. And like Chris said, the green. 
They're going to be performing there. We just had it's Brad on a, the other day. Great, it's going to be a great night over there at uh, the Waikiki Beachcomber. So, yeah. But congratulations again from all of us here at Living It Away to Luke. Uh, and thank you, Chris, for sticking around. It's been a yeah. long morning for him. And uh, I'm sure he's looking forward to he getting, loves it, getting to the North Shore, <laughs> yeah. uh, the North Shore waves here as soon as he can. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, after this quick break, we're going to head to Alamoana.